many people in 2020, retail therapy is just that. Consumers in the U.S. spent $9 billion online on the day after Thanksgiving, and more than 20 percent year over year, according to one research group. And analysts say Cyber Monday, which is today, is expected to also be record-breaking. De Beers has been selling its customers for decades that a diamond is forever. Now their slogan is getting put to the test. Sales of rough diamonds were up 12% in the latest cycle, despite an obviously difficult time in the luxury market. De Beers' chief executive, Bruce Cleaver, is with me uh, from London. A difficult, uh, a difficult time to be selling something that is clearly a premium product. But I guess... I can argue this both ways with you, Bruce. I can say people don't want to spend the money, or I can say people sort of want to treat themselves. Which is it proving to be? Well, so far, Richard, I'm pleased to say it's proving to be the latter. So having been through a very difficult time, um, as to be as in the diamond industry in Q2, We've seen really quite strong bounce back, both in China, as you would have expected, more of a V-shaped recovery. But actually in the US right now, things are going maybe a little better than we'd hoped. And I think there is a really compelling reason for this, of course. People have come through COVID, and I think we found, and our research shows that what we've found is that things that are really meaningful to them, like relationships, are things that they want to go and celebrate when they get out of lockdown. So even if they come out of lockdown potentially with a little less disposable income, the signs are very good that they're going to spend them on things that actually are meaningful to them and that's attached to important moments in their life. So, so far, actually, we've had a, a very good uh, time in the last quarter, very hopeful for the selling season over Christmas. I mean, that's going to be the core, isn't it? Because if you have a bad Q2, a Q3 bounce back is really pent up demand. It's Q4 now, Christmas and Hanukkah and the holiday season. This is going to be the test. Yes, it is. And of course, all of our marketing efforts are going into this uh, period from now. But there's some instructive data from China, because of course, as you know, they got out of the lockdown uh, probably in May, and we saw record demand for diamond jewellery in May, June and July. And then it sort of tailed off, but still at levels that are equal to or probably above the same time last year. So what that indicates to us is that coming out of COVID, consumers have no less desire for this amazing product than they did before. Our job, obviously, is to try and um, help them spend their money with us and buy things that are meaningful and can uh, be things that they can think about and look at and remember the meaning of throughout the rest of their lives. I, I was looking, I was reading the, the various information. You know, is there evidence that the artificial, the, the sort of the, the, the factory grown diamond has which which is a which is a starting to be a growing part of your business but is the gulf between the bit that comes out of the ground that's been there for a billion years and the bit that's just sort of been made up the road in the factory you're never going to be able to bridge that gap well, De Beers is a natural diamond business. We always will be. We invest extremely heavily in it because it's a business that we believe will be here today, tomorrow, and in the future. We have, as you say, a very small lab-grown business, but that's really to give consumers what they tell us they think lab-grown is, which is a completely different category. Made in a machine, fun, fashion, light-hearted. But those have nothing like the beauty and the mystery of a natural diamond. Every natural diamond that people buy has made some amazing contribution, if it comes from De Beers, to the growth of a country. And so for us, there is really no comparison between the two. As I say, there is these two markets are separate. Uh, lab grown for us is a legitimate category, but it's not the same as this incredible precious product that was made a billion years ago by the miracle of nature and will, will be with us forever. Are diamonds still being made underground? I mean, I know that sounds like such a, a naive question, but if you think that, you know, it's a natural process that was done by pressures within the Earth's core uh, on, on rocks and the like, and uh, do, is, it, is that process still going on so that in X thousand or hundreds years, people will find diamonds that had started to be created today? It's certainly not going on at anything like the scale um, and the timeframes that it used to be. So whilst there are um, some kinds of explosions from time to time, our data would suggest that it's very unlikely that there will be in anything like the numbers that we, are, we can find them today. And so that's why, of course, they are so important, so rare, so precious. And each natural diamond is unique. No two ones are the same. But that's what is so magical about the product for us. We'll talk more. I look forward to talking to you, Bruce, after the new year. Please, let's have a chat about how the fourth quarter went. It'll be fascinating because it puts it into a bigger uh, political picture for us as to what's happening in the economy. I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.
Thank you.